No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're gonna have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Okay. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point, got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Nochmal. Shoot. I was told... Um, 
I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Hmm. Ja, äh, ist ihm das egal oder ähm, er kann es er kann's einfach nicht annehmen. I know this is weird, but Uncle Eddie's my family. He put up with me at my absolute worst, and has always been consistent and kind. Nehmen wir es mal als Friedensangebot äh, an. Mich würde jetzt interessieren, ob sie noch irgendwas sagt, wenn ich jetzt sage, das kann ich... Oh, er nimmt es automatisch an. You know what? Okay, fine. I'll take it. Whatever. Just forget it. I said I'd take it. And I said, forget it. Hat der es jetzt angenommen, weil ich wollte gerade auf gut klicken. Did you hear that? So, I'm a jerk. You just always need to have the last word. In other words, a jerk. I didn't need to dig in like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I just hoped we could wrap everything up with a grand gesture and move on to our perfectly normal lives. What? This isn't normal? <laughs> Still your brother? Still your sister. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead. And stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Ja, dann schauen wir uns mal in der Zeit ein bisschen um. It's so weird being back on this boat. Bier ist mein Sport. Willst du mein Sixpack sehen? Nö, danke.
Bleiben Sie so lange im Fahrzeug, bis die Fähre angelegt hat. Ja, ja. Als ob sich da jemals irgendeiner dran gehalten hätte. Äh, <lacht> wieso heißt dieses Ding eigentlich Saboteur? What a waste of a good pun. Ja. Lassen wir mal so stehen. Also ich finde die Landschaft unheimlich geil. Es wäre mir persönlich wahrscheinlich zu kalt, so wie das aussieht, wegen dem Schnee. Aber ich finde die Landschaft echt geil. Mit dir reden. Morning. Hello. Enjoying the ride? Ja. I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Geboren und aufgewachsen. Ja. Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I have moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clean kid, I uh, haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, <laughs> the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off in the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Nennen Sie mich Tyler. Genau. I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh... uh Ronan? Huh? Ronan, as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, here. I never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Ah. I, uh... Nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. Okay, also... Ich würde jetzt mal behaupten, dass meine Vermutung richtig ist und weil er ja auch dauernd von diesen Transgender äh, gesprochen hat und so, dass er die Schwester war, weil ich habe nämlich im Trailer, glaube ich, zwei kleine Mädchen gesehen und habe mich immer gefragt, ob das jetzt andere Episoden sind oder so und ich vermute mal ganz stark, dass er eigentlich die Schwester von äh, ihr gewesen ist. Hey Allison, can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Now open. Naja, okay, ist alles unwichtiges Zeug halt, ne? Äh, Allison, da. Oh, ich kann öffnen. Nein! Nein, ich wollte doch gerade noch mit dir sprechen. Scheiße. Mist. <lacht> 